Any notion that we're in a manageable trade dispute with China is now dispelled. This is a trade war. America just fired another shot, and you are about to pay. The trade talks with the Chinese effectively collapsed today. The president announced new tariffs today. The markets retreated today in a big way. The Dow was up nearly 300 points. Then the president tweeted about the new tariffs. That was like 1.30 this afternoon. See it? Now the Dow is down 228, a more than 500-point plunge. So what does this mean? Every single thing that China sells to America will be taxed. Every toy, every piece of clothing, every bag of tea, every drop of oil, every pound of aluminum, every chemical, rail car, cell phone, and box of electronics, everything taxed. And you'll pay it. First the importers will pay it, then the distributors will pay it, then the stores will pay it, then they will pass it to you. The buck stops with you. You pay. That's how this works. Always. It's a new tax on things you buy, and the president says it starts next month. And big picture, if you and everyone else is paying more for stuff, over time you'll have to buy less of stuff. And that hurts the economy here and everywhere else. That's what trade wars do. That Trade wars that are thrown out as threats to try to manipulate in negotiations but fail to do so, that's what trade wars produce. Higher prices, weaker economy. Remember, there was already a 25% tax on industrial items. Now, a 10% tax on everything else, mostly consumer products. So as President Trump fires the latest shot in the trade war between the world's two biggest economies, we wait for Beijing to retaliate. This is not the end. From here, we can't see that or begin to guess what that looks like. This is Fox News' Shep Smith blowing a hole in White House talking points about how Trump's ongoing trade war with China will actually affect Americans. Because despite Trump's constant claims that China will be the one suffering from these tariffs, that's clearly not the truth. And everyone who isn't playing make-believe on behalf of the president is able to acknowledge that. Because to be clear, no, both sides do not pay when the U.S. imposes tariffs. When the U.S. imposes tariffs, that essentially becomes an import tax which is passed on to American businesses. That's how it works. If an American company wants to buy the product, they're the ones who pay the increased cost. And then those companies then typically raise the prices of their goods to account for the increased cost. In other words, the cost of the tariff falls on the American consumer. When Trump suggests that 25% of $300 billion is going directly to the U.S. Treasury, Sure, but guess whose wallets that's coming out of? We are paying more because Trump started a trade war that was supposedly easy to win. Consider too that when the cost of Chinese products go up to account for that import tax, that other competing companies can raise the prices on their products too, since there's not a steep price competition from China. In other words, less competition means higher prices for consumers since, last time I checked, businesses aren't super keen on trying to make less money. And then there are the retaliatory tariffs. So the Chinese will suffer too, right? Well, sure, unless they just opt not to buy our products at all, which is why U.S. soybean sales to China fell 94% this year in the aftermath of Trump's ratcheted up trade war. And look, this administration knows that the trade war has been an unmitigated disaster so far, especially in the Rust Belt, which is essential if Trump wants to win re-election in 2020. In fact, in the immediate aftermath of the start of the trade war, Democrats took every gubernatorial and Senate race in Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Michigan in 2018, voting poorly for Trump with a 2020 election right around the corner and his trade war clearly only getting worse. And this is par for the course for Trump. Everything is easy until suddenly it's not. Healthcare would be no problem until Trump acknowledged this. Now, I have to tell you, it's an unbelievably complex subject. Nobody knew that healthcare could be so complicated. And now we have a trade war with China that everyone promised would lead to higher prices, and lo and behold, it's leading to higher prices. And look, in fairness, that's not to say that China hasn't benefited from their unfair practices, but Trump's bullying approach clearly isn't working. And worse, he can see that, we all can, but he isn't capable of altering his strategy. He only knows how to be a bully. Then again, I didn't pay someone to ghostwrite the art of the deal during a decade in which I lost a billion dollars, so what do I know? The fact is that because Trump doesn't know how to govern, because his team isn't able to negotiate, because we have a quote unquote political outsider who doesn't understand diplomacy beyond tweeting big scary threats while he's sitting on the toilet, we're left footing a higher bill for everything that comes from China. And everything comes from China. So Trump will continue to hold the American consumer hostage so he can try to flex his muscles on an international stage. And the American consumer will continue to be the ones to suffer.